All right, guys, let's not ignore the elephant in the room here. While the general reception for the new Nintendo Switch sports game has been a bit of a mixed bag, one thing is definitely clear, and that is people really seem to hate the new replacement for the Miis in this game. But why is that? How come the Miis in the Wii era were so loved when they were introduced, yet these new Miis are so hated? Well today, I want to try and find the reason for that. We're going to look at the individual elements of these new Miis and find out why these don't work well together, as well as try and redesign these characters to make them fit in a bit more. And at the end of the video, you guys can compare my design with the official one and let me know which design you prefer. And okay, before I get like 50 comments about this, I don't really care if they're called Nintendo Switch characters or Switch mates or whatever they're supposed to be called. I'm just gonna call them the new me's. You got that, Buster? Um, okay, anyways. Before we get on though, I'm not claiming to be the best designer in the world here. I think I've made some fairly decent designs in the past, but I am definitely not saying that I know better than the specialized design team at Nintendo. I am just adding some design suggestions to these characters that a lot of fans have issue with. Personally, I don't even mind Nintendo switching the spotlight away from the Miis, unlike some others. But I gotta say, the designs of these new guys... Uh, that ain't it, Chief. But before we can get on to actually redesigning these guys, we have to look at and understand what doesn't work with the current look of them. And I'm gonna try and break down why people just don't like these new me designs. I think one jarring factor is the proportions of these new me's. They just come off as too tall and slender, which makes these characters look off. Like, even when the Miis were shown in the presentation, they also came across looking odd. And I think that this is partly the reason. Like, you can do these kind of proportions right, but here, the head looks like a chibi-style character, while the body has a more realistic proportion. So one thing right off the bat that I'd say you can do here would be to just immediately shrink down the body of these guys, and the design would look a lot more cohesive. Yep, there you go. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna be redesigning this new me from this frame of the trailer. Just because this is probably the best head-on full body shot for one of the characters in that trailer. And I'm not using footage from the playable demo because I ain't about to have Nintendo take down this video for using that gameplay, okay? Sweet. So the next thing with this is the head, and to me, it looks too squished and wide. Yeah, I mean, that's really all there is to this point here. It's like they got watermelon heads, almost. Especially when they turn to the side, and you can really see the overhang here. Yeah, so if it were me, I would just make the head shape a bit taller and a bit skinnier. Something like this. Cool. But okay, even after tweaking those body proportions, I still would say that one of the main problems with these guys is that they can't decide whether they want to be cartoony or more realistic and just land somewhere in the middle. Here's why. See, the overall look of these new Miis just doesn't feel cohesive and connected. It's like they are blending two different styles together. Just look at the original body proportions and compare that to the head. The head is really wide. These guys have huge eyes with a tiny nose and mouth. And that's fine, it's just skewing all the proportions because it's cartoony. But then you look at the body and things become a lot more realistic. All the proportions are just like a regular human. These Miis have five fingers and a lot more detail in their clothing compared to the rather simplified heads. Honestly, I think the heads from Wind Waker look a lot like these new Mii heads. But then just look at the bodies in Wind Waker. They work a lot better here. Their torsos are huge while their legs are a lot more smaller. So it's like they fully commit to the style they're going for in this game by skewing all of the body proportions and not just exclusively the head. Another game that these new me heads remind me of is the Animal Crossing characters. And again, these guys fully commit to the style. Look at the bodies. The detail in the clothing is super simplified as well as the hands. They're literally just balls. Plus, the body proportions are really tiny, which fully commits to this chibi style. And it works, alright? That's why it looks fine when you stick this massive head on this tiny little body, because it's all cohesive, stylized, and chibi. Like, just look at this comparison. Okay, it might look cursed now, but bear with me for just a sec. If you take the head of these new Miis and an Animal Crossing character, then you can see how they share a similar style, and honestly could be from the same game. 
However, when you then do the same with the bodies, the differences become a lot more noticeable. One looks way more realistic and the other looks a lot more stylized. So this is basically my logic in why I chose to make the head taller while making the body smaller. But anyways, let's start looking at the actual facial features right now, not just the body proportions. And why don't we start with the eyes. The eyes are another thing that looks so weird and honestly pretty creepy in these new Mii's. You can show a lot of emotion from just the character's eyes, and these new me eyes pretty well only have two states, closed or wide open. They mostly just close them when they blink, so the majority of time they're just staring down your soul with these massive wide open eyes. Ugh. Um, guys, why are you looking at me like that? Uh, you want something from me? Okay, fine, you can take my wallet, just stop looking at me like that! The Miis used to have a bunch of different eye options for you to choose from, and would often flip through them to convey a different emotion. When they had their eyes squeezed shut, it would show that they're scared, or having their eyelids lowered would show that they're more confident. There was the obvious wide open eyes to show that they're shocked, or when the eyes squinted, it showed that they're happy. However, with this new style of Switch Miis, it doesn't really work to have these choices. So instead, I look towards the Animal Crossing characters that have these similar wide open eyes. But the thing that the Animal Crossing characters and just other characters in this style do that the new Miis don't, is having their eyelids closed by different amounts and in different angles to convey emotion. The more open eyes could just be their happy states, while these half closed eyelids show a more more concerned emotion. Or the eyelids half closed in an outwards angle would be more of a sad character. I applied this same logic to the Switch Miis and I think it came out fairly good. Now this guy looks like an angry bowler ready for any competition. Or by having these eyelids, he shows more of a lack of confidence in his skills. Actually, I was just re-watching the trailer again while looking over the script, and I did notice on the screen with a bunch of these new Miis, there were actually some slightly closed eyelids. However, they're so subtle and barely even noticeable. Plus, they're all in the same outward angle. So, I still think mine work better with the more exaggerated look and multiple angles to it. Also, if you're liking this more in-depth video about the design of video games, then like the video to let me know you want to see more of this. I'm trying out a bunch of new style videos, so I'm curious to see which ones you guys are enjoying. Alright, and then another slight gripe I have with these designs is that their necks seem to be way too small. You may have not even noticed this, because funny enough, almost every character in the trailers and promo material have these big collared shirts so you really don't see their necks much. But then there's this one scene in the trailer where you get a side profile of this guy and oh, just what? What is that? You put a watermelon on a stick and called it a day. Like, okay, you may think this is nitpicking, and it kind of is, but I am trying to find the reason that no one likes these designs, so I gotta include every little detail that I didn't like. Because it's not just one major problem, but a lot of these little ones that accumulate together. So moving on, let's talk about the noses, because there is something definitely off about these. If there was one thing that I can change about these guys, it would probably be the noses. Like, I don't know, you turn these guys on their side, and it it looks like they got this little pig snout, it's weird. And then you look directly at the new Miis, and it looks like a triangle just slapped on their face. It looks totally flat from this angle. Plus, I also feel that it doesn't really work with the rest of the design when you see it on its side too. The entire design of these characters' heads is made from round shapes. Their ears, head shape, mouth, and eyebrows are all made from these round surfaces. But then you have this little pointy nose that is the total opposite having all sharp edges to it. It's literally a pyramid plopped on its face. So there's a bunch of different things that you can turn this nose into, but for me, I think this little triangle shape is pretty odd looking, so I'm gonna round it up a bit. And then I definitely want to add some shading to the, um, hang on a sec, what's this part of the nose called? Nose diagram. 
Ah, here we go. So I definitely want to add some shading to the upper cartilage part of the nose to make it seem like 3D from all angles. So I originally had this like black outline here to show this part of the nose, but I realized it doesn't really work in this style. So I ended up turning it off and just keeping the shading and I think it looks a lot better this way. Then we have the mouth here, and for the most part, it is actually okay. It looks pretty simple at first, but when the characters are doing their actions, their mouths are actually pretty dynamic and expressive, which is good. Maybe their mouths can look a bit too big at times though, but that's not that big of a deal. However, I think it can look weird to some people because there's nothing to it when these characters are in their basic state. It's a line with a slight curve in it. That's it. The Amazon smile has more detail than this. So, I think this is more of a problem with how static these characters look when they're doing nothing. They stand there with blank stares in many instances from the footage we've seen. So, I'd say having these characters just not in this state is key for this game. Also, if you're gonna have these new customizable characters to replace the Miis, then we're gonna need some more options to choose from. Because unlike the Miis that all look distinguishable from one another, these new Miis all look pretty samey because there's not too many options that you can choose from. And okay, just take a look at this. Just look at these different new me faces. Just the face. What do you notice about them? They all have the exact same features. Same eyes, same nose, same mouth, and same eyebrows. The only differences here is that you can change the eye color, they'll have more pointed eyebrows when they're focused, and the girls have eyelashes while the boys don't. Plus, I guess there is some beard options that you can add too for the guys. But still, that's why all of these guys just look like the same copy and paste thing. Okay, but sure, other games have had a customization system while keeping most of the facial features the same, like the new Pokemon games for example. But in that game, the customization was focused on clothing and hairstyles. So they had a bunch of different options for both of these aspects, giving the player so many things to choose from. Whereas in this game, I swear there's like five outfits to choose from, a bunch of palette swaps for this thing and these outfits. So the only major difference between all these new Miis is the hairstyles, and that's a problem because there's only like six different styles. Three for the girls and three for the boys. So then these guys are just left in a weird state as to what they're supposed to be. This isn't focused on hair or clothing customization because there's like six options for each of them. And this clearly isn't a face customization thing like the Miis because literally all you can do is change the eye color as far as I'm aware. So what we're left with is a generic base design for a character that you can only change the colors of certain physical features. This isn't character customization, this is character palette swapping. I can just do this in Photoshop, what the heck? And maybe this is just me, but the hairstyles that they do have all seem kind of too trendy of hairstyles. It's like these guys are trying to be cool and hip with the times. Like, whoa, sick fade man, hair looks dope. Nice dude, slick back that hair grandpa, looking cool. Hey, hey, your barber gave you some sick lines bro, looking fresh. Uh, okay, it, anyways, all I'm saying here is I want more not as trendy options to be present, so I'm just gonna trim up the hair a bit on my new me. And I'll add some more hair to the sides, but this part may just be my preference. And okay, with this, I think I'm gonna stop it here with redesigning this me. This isn't supposed to be a final product of what I think they should look like or anything, but this is more of a concept of what they can tweak the style to be. That's why it can look pretty flat because I'm essentially drawing in 2D over a 3D model, but if you took this concept of mine and made it in 3D, then I think that would make it look a lot better. But what do you guys think? Do you think my concept is better or worse? Or do you just like these new me's and I'm totally wrong about this whole thing? Welp, you know where the comment section is, so let me know there. See you later.